afternoon and thank you for joining us today. Today is a really special episode of our Alumni Association Virtual Engagement Series. This is a monthly video series where we sit down and we talk with a Manor College alumni and hear about what their experience was like as a Manor student, what life has been like since graduating, and how Manor prepared them for the real world. Today we are talking to Manor alumni from the class of 2017, Samaya Bynum. Samaya grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and was homeschooled for high school attending PA Cyber. She actually enrolled in Manor's pre-medicine science, but eventually found her way into liberal arts program graduating with her associate in science degree in liberal arts. After Manor, Samaya transferred into Temple University to study communications and journalism, where she earned her bachelor's degree in 2020 in journalism. Samaya is a nationally published journalist who spends her time freelancing and working as the director of communications for a Philadelphia County Board of Elections commissioner Welcome, Samaya, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so, so excited to get started. Um, I love Manor, and I'm always proud to say that I am a Blue Jay. <laughs> That's great. We love to hear that. So, Samaya, obviously you're passionate about Manor, but take us back. Why, why did you choose Manor, and how did you even um, find the college? So funny thing, I never had, in the beginning, I didn't hear about Manor, and I haven't heard of it in the beginning when I was applying to colleges, and my mom actually uh, told me about Manor, and I was like, you know, I wasn't really big at first on wanting to go to a small college in the beginning. I wanted to be, you know, in the big university scene. I had just come out of high school, so I wanted to be in the, you know, the big crowd with the big classes, and that's kind of how I visualized it, um, and then when I took my first campus tour of Manor. I was like, it wasn't too far away from home. So it was very familiar. And the neighborhood was just really, really nice. Um, and although I did have some kind of like concerns about the campus being small, I wind up actually loving how intimate it was and like the courses and the classes were they weren't intimidating and I had a relationship with all of my professors and they were great and they paid a lot of good attention to all of the students I always sat in the first row so mm -hmm. I always made sure that I was always raising my hand and just making sure that I was present but I came to find Manor to be like one of those colleges that were just very special I feel like Manor holds a a really special nuance that not all universities or colleges have. And I think it really is that that homey or comfort feeling. Um, for me, that's what it was. And I was just really excited to get started and get enrolled once I did um, apply and I saw that I got in. Um, and so as soon as I hit campus, I was like, yeah, this is, this is gonna be a great home for the next two, three years. Mm -hmm. Well, following up on that, so my, I, I was interested um, in your career choice, and certainly as you moved and segued from Manor to Temple and mm -hmm. studied communications and journalism. So it's interesting that there was a bit of serendipity in you coming to Manor because you had intended to go to a larger university. Mm -hmm. um, was there a real serendipity with your choice of career path, or was it something that you always wanted to do? So it really was um, when I first got into uh, Manor, I originally wanted to do like science or pre-med and that was the track that I was on. Um, and all of those courses were great. I really loved all of the professors, um, the biology professors and um, in that field, and the chemistry professors. But then I will notice that I was more so good at the writing portions <laughs> rather than getting into the hardcore studying of memorizing and taking all those uh, exams. Um, and so I remember one of my professors in chem, I really am upset that I don't remember her name because she was an awesome uh, teacher. But um, I remember I did my final and I wasn't, to be perfectly honest, I wasn't really doing that great in the class, but I aced my final, which was a writing final. It was a whole project, had to write a whole scientific journal. And she was like, you did really well. And she was like, that was like the best one that I've seen in my 20 years of teaching. And I was really surprised to hear that because I was like, oh, you know, I was just trying to get the work done. Um, and then also I, I did enjoy that portion. She said, you should go into like writing. And I was like, I thought about that, but I wasn't sure what that would look like. Um, and so that kind of gave me the inclination to switch over into liberal arts because I took classes with Miss uh, Ann Knopp 
and um, she was again great. And I love taking her classes. I also love taking the philosophy courses where I did a lot of writing, and I was really good at that. And so I was like, well, maybe I should get back into you know doing writing where I am predominantly doing things that are in communications or journalism. And so that's what led me into you know graduating and switching over into the liberal arts. And I'm glad that I did. <laughs> Uh, well, quick question. I, I know this is sort of, I just was interested, like did the quantitative stuff of the sciences give you a marked advantage with the more qualitative stuff of writing and journalism? I don't, I wouldn't say. I I would definitely, I don't think so. I definitely think that for me, um, the writing just came from, I just like telling the story or like learning. So when I did take those scientific courses and I did have to do some journals, I liked portraying what I learned onto a piece of paper and kind of delving into that, um, basically like picking it apart and then putting it back together. And that's what made me fall in love more with writing. I, growing up, I always was into writing and reading, but I never really came to the conclusion of, oh, I could do this for a living. I always thought that that was just like a hobby of mine, something that I just enjoyed. And uh, I'm really glad that manner kind of helped me kind of alter my path and, and, and organize it in a better way where I'm able to actually end up in doing that for a living. I I love, um, Samaya, I love how you're transparent and like, yeah, I started as a science major and then I moved over to liberal arts and how Manor was able to help you initiate and transition and transfer over. I feel like oftentimes the perception of our culture is like, you're 18, you're going to college, you should know what you're going to study. And that is mm -hmm. so not true. And that's okay. And I think at Manor, we really want to embrace students to help them find their path, find their passion, and also Absolutely. lean into what they're good at. So I was really happy to hear that, that chem writing final, you maybe weren't the best at the experiment part or balancing equations or all the math, but yet the writing right. part, she was like, she realized that. And then she helped you like, that's really cool to see. And I think really mm -hmm. encouraging for any students to know that like, it's okay to start as one thing, you know, change your major into something else and, and you're still going to be successful. Yes. So thank you for sharing that. I think that's really positive and very realistic too. You know, we, <laughs> it's not, you go in day one, you're this major. And then of course you have to stick with that path. It just right, doesn't right. happen. Yes. So Samaya, tell us about what was your manner experience like were you involved in student activities? Um, what was it like going to classes? And, and then how did you decide to transfer into Temple? So to answer the first question, um, I actually was a student ambassador at Manor. I did that for a year and a half. And that was really, really fun. I did it with one of my roommates um, who wound up becoming one of my best friends. <laughs> and um, we basically like, we took trips and we visited other colleges and we did lots of teamwork uh, activities, which I really appreciated. And that was one of the things that I do uh, applaud Manor for is that they're very team-based. Um, they really appreciate their students and make sure that we're all familiar with one another and that we're comfortable with one another so that when we're walking to class, you know, it's a hey and everybody's familiar and no one feels like they're outside an outsider. And I do believe that that is why Manor's motto is you belong here because I definitely felt that um, and being a student ambassador, I um, was working inside of the office. Um, I did some uh, of like faxing and filing um, in one of the offices. So helping students with admissions, things like that. I even did a few campus tours <laughs> for the first time, which was really cool. And I got to show all the students the residential hall and um, where we have uh, food in the cafeteria. And since I was really familiar with all of the um, staff in the cafeteria I was just calling them by their name and saying hey this is so and so and hey everybody they're really good so if you guys want a bite to eat come in you know so they were very jovial and they were really happy and that also made me happy um, because it felt like I was inviting them to my home and showing them around even though it was only for a short period of time um, I definitely felt very comfortable and uh, that was one of my experiences that I enjoyed when I was a student ambassador at Manor um, and just aside from that the residential hall life was very very fun 
um, we used to play like flag football. The um, we used to always go around to the um, the tennis court when it first was built, which was really cool to see all of the new developments that Manor uh, started when I was there. Um, and we took trips. I remember one of the trips we took was to the Eastern State Penitentiary, and that was really really fun. Um, we also uh, we did a lot of stuff. Like my mind is just going crazy right now because I'm thinking about all the cool things that we did and just you know things that I feel as though that you know students should be able to uh, experience it's college you're going into a new phase of life and um, you should enjoy it you know you're still young and you're still trying to find your way and I feel like Manor also although it is a academic institution it still makes sure that it values fun and values the youthfulness of its students um and as for the other question um when I, I it was temple right I just want to make sure I got it correctly <laughs> um because I got so warped into <laughs> like the excitement that I had for uh, my experience that manner um uh temple how I arrived at temple it really was just um I wanted to still stay in Philly although I wanted to be in a campus that was bigger um I still felt like Manor inspired me to want to stay in that realm of like home and so when I started applying to schools again I stayed in the vicinity and I had a bunch of family that went to temple and um they had nice and great things to talk about so I was like you know what I'm, I'm going to apply and I got in and that's kind of how I arrived there. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that you made a, an incredible cultural change from the culture of the you belong here manner, that really intimate culture to a big cosmopolitan university. My question is, how, how did manner, maybe if you can quantify how manner prepared you to be that flexible, to make that transition and that that culture change? That's a really good question. Well, both academically uh, and also just right. kind of like inside yourself, uh, spiritually and psychologically, you know. Right. I would say for academically, um, it, Manor had a very, very huge impact on how I studied, mm -hmm. how I approached all of my classes. I personally always was trying to hit the ground running when it came to mm -hmm. studying and making sure that I had good grades. Um, I think the part of the intimate, uh, ambiance that manner provides is that the teachers the professors really really do care they're there to help you and I never felt like I couldn't ask for help I always felt like if I needed something I could go to my professor and say hey you know I'm a little confused about this could you help me out and they were very reciprocal and so that is how I approached everything even when I went to Temple I had even though the classes were filled with a hundred other students I still made sure I sat in the front I still basically acted as if I was in still that small classroom you know the intimate setting one of my friends sitting right next to me, I still had that approach and so when I went to Temple my professors also were very happy to see that because a lot of the students they just you know came into class did what they had to do and left but I really appreciated um the the learning that I received and and that's what I would say that I took away from Manor for the most part academically that I was just I became even more comfortable to just want to learn more and um had an, an interest in the learning if you will and wanting to make sure that I succeeded as for the, you know, just the overall experience, um, I, it wasn't a shock for me. Like, I definitely didn't feel alone when I was at Temple, even though it was bigger, but it made it easier for me to kind of like just navigate. I was like, okay, I already did the intimate setting with the the school now it's time for me to go out with the big dogs <laughs> and it just it didn't make me feel afraid I kind of felt like man I was like I took my got my feet wet did a nice little dip in and I came out and now I'm doing uh you know other things and I guess that's kind of again returns to the model of manner is that you know you're like a little baby blue jay and manner is that nest that nurtures you and helps you out and then when it's time they they also help you along to fly and that's definitely Definitely how I felt and I didn't feel um, uh, alone or isolated when I was at Temple. I felt very much so comfortable, like I've been there, done that, and I'm getting it done, and I did. <laughs> That's great. That's so great to hear that you felt prepared, you weren't intimidated, and that it totally is a different cultural experience, but mm -hmm. you were ready to do that, you know? I think that's really great, you know? 
graduation for us is a week away from today. And Yay. it's a, it's a really exciting time. It's, it's bittersweet, you know, it's, sad. yes, I know. <laughs> um, but it's also exciting to think about them leaving and where they're going and think about new students coming in. And, you know, yes. our goal as an institution is to prepare them to mm -hmm. succeed um, out in the real world. So I think yes. it's great to hear that that's how you felt. Mm -hmm. um, so let's take a shift and talk about your, your career. How did you go about getting your first job? Um, and, and kind of what was that like in terms of, you know, going from a college student to now I need to get a, a job that's going to pay <laughs> some money and I need, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's a huge shift. Um, mm -hmm. Just talk about that a little bit for you. So, yeah, I, I def definitely had the jitters, um, you know, graduating from college. I was kind of nervous, like, oh, well, am I going to get a, a good job? And I think that's the anxiety that most post, you know, that most graduates have that they're like, oh, well, you know, I want to work, but I want a good job. Uh, and that was one of, my, one of my concerns. And even when I was doing internships, uh, that was also a hard thing. I that was a hard entire process, the journey, but it also was worth it. Once I did finally get an internship, I had got an internship with 6ABC, um, Walt Disney subsidiary, and I worked as a multi-platform programmer um, for Channel 6, and I did that for a few months, and that was very fun in the middle of the pandemic, but they made it an amazing time, um, and that's kind of what led me to have a little bit less anxiety towards um, getting a job once I left, uh, once I graduated college. Um, so I currently now am a director of communications for a city commissioner that is on the Philadelphia County Board of Elections. Um, and I really, it really happened because I was posting on Facebook and I tagged Temple um, Klein College of Media Communications, that is the school I graduated from. And I just made a post saying how happy I was to have graduated um, in my, gra uh, my collegiate journey. And then one of the commissioners had reached out to me who I work for now, Commissioner Sevier. And um, he was like, hey, you know, you are in communications. I'm looking for a communications director. Would you be available to do an interview? And that's basically how it happened. Um, and, and that's just to go on to say that um, definitely network, you know, whether that is just the post on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, put yourself out there. That's very important. Um, and I guess kind of like to backtrack, I would say um, when I did apply to Temple, I got a letter of recommendation from one of my professors, uh, my history professor. Um, his name was Matthew. I don't remember the last uh, name. Smallar, I think it's Dr. Smallar is probably. Yes, I will. <laughs> and um, he wrote a wonderful, wonderful letter of recommendation for me. And when I told him at graduation, when I told him that I got in, he was very, very happy. It was like, congratulations. And I said, thank you so much. So that's just to go and say, like, manner, definitely. <laughs> um, it's, it's just great. Um, it helped me a lot. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on here today. Um <laughs> I definitely would say that that helped me out. But just going back to what I'm doing now, um, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's a lot of work, but it's good work. Um, and I feel, again, like Manor prepared me um, and even just my collegiate career prepared me to just know how to navigate the real world, talking to people, making sure that I'm always in spaces where I am representing myself um, and always talking. Um, in a way of where I am able to, I, like I said, put myself out there and my skills and the things that I've acquired over the years, being in college and even after. Um, I currently do a lot of like media work. I talk to a lot of people every single day. I talk to news all the time, reporters. Um, I, again, like I represent the commissioner. So we deal with all the elections. So we have one coming up May uh, 16th. So um, my Schedule's going to be pretty busy for the next few weeks, next few days. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. And I, I'm really happy that I was able to arrive at this uh, time in my life. It was definitely nerve wracking when I was applying to jobs and I didn't know where I kind of fit in. I knew journalism was this huge world um, and I just didn't know where I actually was going to be placed. But um, I'm grateful to be where I am today. 
Well, it seems like you've already kind of touched upon some advice for students um, at Manor College today based upon your own story and experience. Um, but could you could you elaborate more on some things you'd want to tell Manor students as they go forward in their own curricula towards their own careers? Definitely. I would say that uh, be patient. <laughs> That's always one of them. Um, patience is, uh, it will take you far. I know for me, I definitely had it because it, I, when I, when I graduated, it was probably about like maybe a month or two, um, until I had got a job and that was like nail biting and nerve wracking. Um, so definitely have patience with yourself, give yourself grace, understand that all the years and the hard work that you put in, you got to the point of graduation, you graduated, you have your diploma, you have that accolade. So be proud of yourself for that. It's not a, um, it's not a small feat at all. Um, so, uh definitely take it all in stride <laughs> i would say that and and take advantage of the resources that your college has um manor has a lot of resources the learning center definitely i was there for the most of the time <laughs> the library um and also your professors i always tell even my sister now that she goes to manor i even tell her like make sure you develop a, a relationship with your professors with your teachers because it does go far um, they can help you in the long run i still have relationship with a lot of my professors at manor and at temple that i email them if i have a quick question i talk to them ask them do they know uh, about any jobs or things like that just um advice uh, as i'm navigating the uh the work field um so definitely don't be afraid to ask because we were all there once you know I'm sure you guys were at a point in time and so we're all people and like I said manner definitely does follow the model of you belong here um, and so take advantage of that and I think that that's really important and also to um to have fun, like, you know, don't, don't try to like stricking yourself to just be, oh, I have to go and study every five seconds of the day, you know, definitely take your academics seriously, but also enjoy the fun that uh, Manor provides. It's a lot that goes on there. Um, and uh, definitely just a little let loose a little bit because life is going to come and you're going to be working and you're going to be having more time to do all of that serious life stuff. Um, and this is the time to just really enjoy and make memories definitely take lots of pictures too <laughs> what what great advice Samaya I love how you started off by saying be patient and then we went through um you know staying in touch with professors and you belong here culture and then we got to have fun I feel like that's a great way to like encompass a college experience yes. um and I think what you're saying is true you know these relationships that you make with your professors and your and the staff at the college, they're not just for two years or for four years or for five years. They, they last a lifetime. And we see that over and over again. Um, I know Mike is a longtime professor and he stays in touch with his students and, and they come back and they, oh, Professor Landis and <laughs> Ann Kachula at our front desk has been at the college for over 60 Yay. plus years. And people <laughs> come back from the 70s and they just they love talking to her um it's a really special place you said it in the very beginning you said something how like it was one of those places that make you feel really comfortable and um I think that's a great testament to what we're trying to to do to make people feel comfortable while also obviously getting a great education to prepare them so thank you so much Samaya for spending time thank with you. us today it was really <laughs> was fun so to fun. talk to you yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm i smiling. My cheeks hurt so much. <laughs> but I'm so happy to, because I literally, I, be th I think about Manor often and I'm like, I do have to go back. I have to see Francie, the security guard. I have to see all of my people. So um, I definitely probably will be making a stop. I'll be flying by there one day. 